Take a split brain patient, someone who's had their, their brain severed in that way. You can show instructions and information to just one side of the brain and not the other. In one experiment, I can't remember the experimenter's name, people who'd signed up for an experiment, so they were awaiting instructions, these split brain patients, they were given the instruction just to their right brain to get up and walk over there. It says, go and walk over to the door. So they stand up, they walk over, and they stand by the door. And then the experimenter says to them in words, why did you just do that? And you know what they say? It would be weird enough if they said, I don't know, right? That would be really strange. But they don't even do that. They make up a reason. (laughs) And the funniest thing about this is that they're not lying. They're not just embarrassed and like, oh, uh, uh." they say something like, oh, I was um, was getting warm and I just went to get some air. And they believe it. Even though we know the reason they did it is because they were fed this instruction. But it implies that there's this idea of the left brain as the interpreter, as, as, as it's called whereby the right brain sort of does stuff and then the left brain comes up with why it was done.